Okay, what we're trying to do is get unit tests working for Python in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to their website that has the instructions for doing just that. You'll want to read through these instructions, Python testing in Visual Studio Code, but I'm gonna walk through how we can get it working as quickly as possible. So I'm scrolling down and I'm going to create tests. I'm going to copy the code that they have provided and I'm gonna open a blank project in VS Code. I'm going to create a new file. That's test underscore unit tests dot py. That's what the instructions recommended. They're using an external file or extra code to do this. So I'm gonna remove that and we're gonna have two simple tests to test whether four equals four or whether three equals four. So one's obviously true, one's obviously false, okay? So then I'm going to make sure that I have the correct VS Code extension installed. We're gonna search for Python, it's probably the first one that's gonna show up, and it's the Python extension from Microsoft. Make sure you have this installed, I already do, but you'll wanna click on install otherwise. Going back to the test file, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna say run current test file. It's gonna say no test framework configured. Enable and configure a test framework. Let's click this button, go ahead and do that. I'm picking unit test. That's the unit test tool that's built into Python so we don't have to install anything extra. That's the easiest approach. I'm gonna use this one. It's gonna say where are the tests gonna start? We'll just start at the root directory and we need to say, what are the what is the naming convention for our tests? Well, we just picked test underscore anything. So that's test underscore uh, asterisk. So I'm gonna pick that. Okay, once you do that, you have now configured VS Code for Python unit tests. A new icon shows up on the left menu for tests. We can now expand and see all the different tests we have coded out. If we added another test, and we'll go into the specifics of the tests themselves later, but if I add another test, it will show up another test. It will show up over here also. Okay. We can see the output of the unit test by clicking this icon right here, if the output isn't already showing. And then we can push this play button to run the tests. We can see the output down here in the output window. We can see one failed because three does not equal four, obviously. We could maybe fix our test and rerun it. And now we can see that the test did pass. We have two passing with green check marks and one failing with a red X, okay? So we'll go into the details of building tests and running them later, but this was just to get the testing tool set up in VS Code, which we do have working. If we look at the file explorer, we can see some extra files and folders that were created through this process. Make sure you leave those alone, don't delete them. And otherwise, that should be good. We're now ready to build tests in Python through VS Code.